Dating back to 312 BC, the Appian Way is one of the oldest roads of ancient Rome, and without everyday traffic, the historic thoroughfare can be enjoyed like years gone by. It's part of an initiative called Ecological Sunday, banning cars in the capital's green belt, which includes the city centre and railway ring, to reduce smog. The Ecological Sunday changes the rapport that both Romans and tourists have with the city because it allows them to explore areas that are normally inaccessible. Rome is one of the most populated cities in the world, with almost 4.5 million residents and 10.5 million visitors each year. Consequently, its air pollution has reached concerning levels. The traffic in Rome has many consequences, so we have introduced a series of measures to reduce cars and emissions. Measures that aim to bring the city in line with European standards. The Ecological Sundays are a legal obligation for the cities that have 35 consecutive days of higher than allowed PM10 pollution values. There are some exceptions to the car-free zone, such as electric and hybrid vehicles. Overall, police say residents are compliant. During the last Sunday, we only issued two sanctions out of 80 checks, which is a significantly low number, considering the number of cars in circulation in the city. The Ecological Sunday project is due to come to an end on March 26, but there are growing calls for it to become a permanent initiative. But environmental groups say much more needs to be done. There must be many other measures put in place. This initiative is just a third of the puzzle to improve air quality. We must combat the number of cars in circulation and boost public transport. The Ecological Sundays should recommence next winter. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Rome.